Hey, good evening YouTube, Boo by me, back again doing my last review of the night because if they've been had a 14 percenter, then I had the 5.1, and then the, uh, what was the last one I just had, uh, 6.5 maybe, and I'm going to finish off with this one which is 8.6. Um, so this is my last um, pumpkin beer in the cellar. Um, this is a 2012 edition of the Southern Tier Imperial Pumpkin. Um, it rings in at 8.6% ABV, 650 milliliter bottle by the Southern Tier Brewing Company. Um, I believe they are in. Uh, Southern Tier is in. Lakewood, New York, USC, USA. So it's a pretty cool looking label. Um, tells you what the ingredients are on one side. The other side it says pumpkin is an ode to Puka, a creature of Celtic folklore who is both feared and respected by those who believe in it. Puka is said to waylay travelers throughout the night by tossing them on its back and providing them the ride of their lives. It is a journey from which everyone returns forever changed. Now there's some more, but I'm not going to read it. It says to use a gauntlet. Serve at 4.4% ABV. Your standard Southern Tier caps. I'm going to have a bunch of Southern Tier beers coming up, obviously. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to use my Duvel sifter tulip glass. some head but I'm not getting much. This glass almost fit the whole freaking bottle. It's a big glass. So it's a nice orange in color. There's a half a finger ahead, tiny bubbles as you can see, nice carbonation. There you go, that's what it looks like. Let's give it a smell. Some malt, some biscuit. Kind of like a biscuity flavor there, or a scent aroma. Some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some allspice. Maybe some uh, nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, clove. Definitely picking up some uh, uh, pumpkin. That's about it. Like it's it smells just like a pumpkin beer. Um, it kind of has more sweet hints to it, like a pumpkin pie, opposed to a pumpkin beer. So, cheers. Yeah, this just tastes like pumpkin pie. That's a good beer. Alright, so you take a sip of this. Tip of your tongue. Nice, sweet malt presence there. So it rolls across the tongue. Kind of get like a, a biscuity, bready kind of characteristic. Um, followed by like a, that nice uh, pumpkin pie spice mixture, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove, the allspice, kind of like that. It's the back of your tongue. It dries up fairly nice. You get some of the pumpkin throughout the whole mouthfeel. Um, this is more like a pumpkin pie in a glass than a pumpkin beer. Now, I guess you can break it down in two or three different categories of so the pumpkin beer. Like you have your pumpkin beers that actually taste like pumpkin pie or pumpkin pie in a glass. Then you have oh, some of your pumpkin beers that are like um, all spice, no pumpkin. 
and then you have so the third category would be lots of pumpkin, not enough spice, and uh, yeah. So, but this is a good uh, mix of all. Um, definitely, definitely worth a try if you guys can find it. Southern Tier Imperial Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin beer brewed near, well, brewed I guess September, October, um, for Halloween. Um, yeah, it's a delicious beer. Um, I highly recommend it uh, if you want to try a good pumpkin beer. Definitely worth a try. Um, not much more I can say. It's definitely a really good beer. I enjoy it thoroughly. I can drink this. I can drink another one of these if I really wanted to. It's that good. Um, <clears throat> so. Yeah, there you have it. Like I said, uh, you've got uh, some uh, Turo in there, some Caramel Crystal Malt in there, some Biscuit Malt in there, maybe some Carafoam, Carapils, Dextrin, that type of malt in there. Um, you got some Pumpkin in there, you got some Nutmeg, Allspice, Cinnamon, Clove, uh, maybe some Brown Sugar in there. Um, hot Profile, it's kind of like a earthy type of, of of bitterness to go along with the pumpkin which is the you know it is a, a squash um, grows on the ground earth you know so cheers I hope you all enjoyed my video please rate comment subscribe any suggestions or ideas in the comments box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible hope the video was informative um, on the beer again it's just my opinions um, you know I, I, I'm no beer expert but I do enjoy beer and I like to share my thoughts on a beer a particular beer um, I love trying all types of beers um, so anyways uh, thanks a lot guys girls and uh, until next time brew by me is out Cha cheer